Bisu mo, palaguid mo. Today on Peaceabilities, be inspired as we meet today's young entrepreneurs who started small and now growing big. Paano nga ba nagsimula ang kanilang success story on money? Alamin lahat ng ito? Dito lang sa Peaceabilities, My Money Story. Entrepreneurs are getting younger and younger these days. Most of them launch their startup businesses before and after college. And today, who would have thought that their amazing business ideas won't just make money but also impact other lives and create a real difference? Nakilala namin ang tatlong young Filipino entrepreneurs na may nakakabilib na istorya. It all started with a dream, but with hard work, determination, and passion, their dreams turned into a reality. Huwag na nating patagalin pa. Panoorin natin ang kanilang kwentong pinansyal dito lang sa Peaceabilities, My Money Story. I love to serve people. That's why I put up cafe. My name is Isaiah Ezekiel El Rabe. I own this shop, Kahidaw Cafe. Nagbula siya sa isang pamilyang nagtatrabaho sa food industries. Kapwa malayo sa tatlong magkakapatid ang kanilang magulang upang maghanap buhay. Ang kanyang ina ay isang supervisor sa isang restaurant sa Australia, habang isang captain waiter naman sa barko ang kanyang ama. Kala ko nung una, mayaman kami, kaya ng family ko, pero uh, nung habang lumala kami, nakikita ko na yung hirap ng buhay pagdating sa pera. Siguro, struggle is more on ano, sa... Uh, pag-handle siguro ng money. Malaking impact din yung, yung mga struggle kasi mahirap i-balance din. Eh. So parang minsan gusto namin bagay na ano, hindi nabibili kasi kailangan sa, sa school or sa, sa, ano, sa, para sa family din. So parang tinatabi ng muna ng family enjoyment. Before siguro, parang yung money for me, siya yung, ano, yung uh, pag may money ka, mayaman ka na parang gano'n. Parang, Uh, rich kid ka, pinupush namin yung uh, pag-aaral ng family din para makatapos din kami, ma-improve yung financial din namin. Kasi kami naman yung pag-asa rin ng family na ito. Sa pagtungtong niya sa koleho, kumuha siya ng Bachelor in Science in Entrepreneurship. Bunga na rin ang impluensya ng kanyang pamilya at sa kagustuhan magtayo ng sariling negosyo. Start sa dream. I love to serve people. That's why I put up cafe. Bisu mo, palaguin mo. Bisu mo, palaguin mo. Start sa dream. Eh. Ay, I love to serve people. That's why I put up cafe. So, doon ko nakita yung uh, parang motivation ko para magtayo uh, ng business. As part of their school requirement, nagsimula sa thesis ang pangarap niyang business. It was challenging for him because they were required to have a real business and is feasible to the market. Pero, may mas palaki pa siyang pagsubok. Uh, nung una, mahirap kasi syempre, uh, you need money to, to put up business. Struggle yun kasi uh, nag-aaral ako but uh, I believe that God can provide things. Yung strategy ko is to, to write a letter to people. Nagsolicit ako more on sa mga friends ko, sa church, sa church, sa uh, relatives until ma ma-achieve ko yung kailangan ko man. Ando na yung hiya, but nangingibabaw yung uh, desire, yung vision ko to have put to put up a business. Umabot sa halagang 200,000 ang nalikom niyang pera. Mula dito ay tuluyan na niyang naipatayo ang The Hideout Cafe. Tatlo kami. Uh, ako, then yung brother ko, then meron ako isang staff. Ginagawa ko dito, usually, is uh, barista. So, I'm uh, making coffee to the customers also. Uh, talking to them and uh, giving the, the testimony of Hideout Cafe. Special and unique sa Hideout Cafe, more on uh, 
it's God-centered. And that's why Hideout Cafe can be in a hiding place. Product is more on specialty coffee. So more on latte art and uh, parang different uh, designs of lattes. To make his business grow big, patuloy siyang gumagawa ng research, survey from his customers, visiting popular coffee shops for inspiration and ideas, and doing trainings in making coffees and lattes. Ngayon, natututo na akong mag discipline especially pagdating sa money also hindi lang pagdating sa money siguro yung pag uh, self control din and decision making how you uh, handle the money that you have and uh, wag masyado maging greedy and more on yung heart ko kasi more on giving to the people iniisip ko din yung future investments sa mga bagay na kailangan maayos and for me my money lesson is uh, use your money to become a blessing to other people Pag nagbibigay ka sa mga tao, babalik yung blessing sa iyo. And uh, hindi ka nagda-doubt na saan ako kukuha ng pera. But uh, magugulat ka na lang that uh, you have overflowing money. And because that's why, uh, because you have a generous heart to other people. And sabi ko nga, uh, start small and dream big. Studies. Good. <laughs> pag... Siya pag-ipon. White ako white. Long term. Legacy. Had kasi coffee ano, labor. Ah... Savings. ETF. Stocks. Siguro ito. More on nasa... Madami akong mga... Yan, mga, mga calling cards, and uh, yan, mga IDs, tapos yan, may mga ano rin talaga ako. Ito, mga more on, yun, nakakatipid ako na pamimili, na do you have sulit like this, para kung pagpupunta ako, mas nakaka-discount ako. Laman nito is more on, ito lang eh, ito lang yung mga laman nito eh, more on sa mga bank credit card. Wala akong credit card eh, pero ATM ay mga ATM. Guro! Pinakamada, pinakamalaki na is 1,000 pesos. Siguro enough na sa akin yun. Uh, hindi naman everyday. Siguro pag may mga occasions lang ako may pupuntahan. Kape. Nag-umpisa ang araw ng ibang tao sa pag ng mainit na kape. Pero ang hideout, nag-umpisa ang araw namin sa paglapasan ng Biblia. Sabi ko nga po, hindi lang ito isang business. Hindi ito rin ay sa akin business. Ito, sa akin simple. From a fresh graduate and young entrepreneur with startup business, punta naman tayo sa dalawa pang new breed of entrepreneurs. They were drawn together because of friendship and passion which eventually turned into business partners. Let's meet the young men of Worship Generation. Pinaka-magbigat siguro was if I have a personal thing na gusto mong bilhin, like, like the PlayStation before, or Game Boy before, or sapatos before, or I want to go somewhere, but I don't have the money. We always expect that there's going to be problems, but we didn't expect that there's going to be problem na, to the point that we had to sleep outside the store in the mall. Bisho mo, palaguin mo! Walang mangyayari kung manonood ka lang. Tawag ka o text mo kami o i-click mo ito.